Hello everyone, my name is Sonika Nagar. I'm assistant professor of CSE IML department of ABS Engineering College. My today's topic is propositional logic. Now, what is propositional logic for that? For, we first need to understand what is proposition. Proposition is a statement which is either true or false, but not both. So any statement which holds the value either true or false is known as your proposition. It is a declarative statement. It is usually denoted by your lowercase letters. For example, P, Q, R, etc. They are called Boolean variable or logical variable or logic variable because they hold two values that is either true or false. That is zero or one. For example, Seema went to school. So it returns either the value true or false. Either Seema went to school or she did not. It cannot hold the, both the values. Now, next example is 11 plus 8 is equal to 5 minus 3. Now, we know 11 plus 8 is equal to 19. And 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Now, 19 is not equal to 2. So, this preposition will return the value false. Now, next is compound preposition. A compound preposition is formed by composition of two or more preposition called component or subpreposition. So when we combine two or more preposition to form a new preposition, that preposition is known as compound preposition. For example, we have taken a compound preposition. Rishabh is intelligent and he studies hard. In, if we break it down, we can see that we it is made up of two preposition. First one is Rishabh is intelligent. Second one is he studies hard and we have combined those two propositions and formed a new proposition. Now, next example is sky is blue and clouds are white. Now, we can see that first proposition that we have used in this is sky is blue. And the second proposition is clouds are white. And we have combined those two propositions together to form a new compound proposition that is sky is blue and clouds are white. Now, next is compound preposition. The word or phrase used to form compound preposition is called logical connectors. As we can see from previous example, that Rishabh is intelligent and he studies hard. We know that it is made up of two preposition. That is, Rishabh is intelligent and he studies hard. We have combined those two preposition with the help of the word end. And this end is your logical connective. So, we uh, generally use these five logical connectors. First one is your negation, that is not. Second is your conjunction. And third is your disjunction or fourth one is your conditional. And fifth one is your biconditional. Now, let's start with our first logical connective, that is negation. So, if P is a preposition, then negation of P is a preposition which is true when p is false and false when p is true. So we can say that any proposition p, if the p holds the value true, then the negation of p will hold the value false and vice versa. It is denoted by this symbol and p. For example, let us take, let us take some example for this negation. There is a preposition p, which is she is going. Then the negation of this statement is she is not going. Let us take another example. P for uh, P proposition is 4 plus 5 equals to 9. Now the negation of that statement is 4 plus 5 is not equals to 9. So as we can see from the truth table, if P holds the value true, then the negation of P will be false. But if preposition P holds the value true, the negation of P will be true. Next one is your conjunction. Let us consider two propositions, P and Q. When we combine those two propositions with the word N, then that is known, your, known as your conjunction. For example, it is a bright and windy day. So we have used the con word and as a logical connector. The day has, uh, in this, we can see that day has to be both bright as well as windy. Now, let us take another example. We have first preposition P, which is Ram is healthy. 
and next preposition q that he has blue eyes and if i combine them with conjunction that is and now the preposition will be p and q will be ram is healthy and he has blue eyes okay now for the truth table as we can see uh, we have taken two preposition p and q and the conjunction of those two p and q if p and q both are false then the value returned by p and q will be false if p is false and q is true then the p and q will also be false if p is true and q is false then also it return false but if p is true and q is true then p and q is also true so we can see from this truth table that conjunction of two preposition is only true when both the preposition that is p as well as q holds the truth value true now next is disjunction now let us consider an, uh, another example let us consider two preposition p and q and the disjunction or will represent as p or q so for let us take an example to ride the bus you must have a ticket or hold a pass so one of the two condition must be true as we can see that it is made up of two proposition that to ride the bus you need to have a ticket to ride the bus you need to hold a pass so even if one condition is true we can say that whole compound preposition is also true so both can be true too for example p we have taken a preposition p ram will go to delhi now preposition q is ram will go to calcutta and when we combine them together with disjunction or or then the statement will be p or q will be ram will go to delhi or calcutta so he can go to both or either delhi or either calcutta now let us take in uh, look at the uh, truth table we have taken p and q preposition and the disjunction of both the preposition if p is to if p is false and q is false then p or q is also false if p is false but q is true then the p or q is also true if p is true q is false then p or q is also true if p is true and q is true then p or q is also true we can see from this example or this truth table that p and q p or q will only hold a value false if both p and q are false otherwise for all the other three it holds a value true now next one is your conditional preposition if p and q are preposition then the compound preposition if p then q denoted by p implies q is called conditional preposition so we can say that this p implies q we can also say it as p, if p then q the preposition p is called antecedent or hypothesis and the preposition q is called the consequent or the conclusion the only circumstance under which p implies q is false when p is true and q is false let us take an example for uh, let us take an example uh, first preposition is p tomorrow is sunday next preposition q is tomorrow is saturday now p implies q that is if tomorrow is sunday then today is saturday it can only be false if uh, p is false okay now the connective if uh, dash then can be read as p is sufficient for q or p only if q or we can say it as p is necessary for q or q if p we can also say it as p is a consequence of q so we can say it in a in any of these ways let us take a look at its truth table the conditional truth table uh, we have taken two uh, proposition p and q and p third one is your p implies q as we can see when p is true when q is false p implies q holds a value false when q p is true q is true then p implies q is also true 
if p is false and q is false then p is implies q is also true if p is false q is true then also p implies q holds a value true so we can see that p implies q will hold the value false only and only if p will have a value true but q will have the value false now there are certain variations on a proposition on a conditional proposition let us uh, given a proposition p implies q there are other proposition that can be stated for example if it rains then they cancel school this uh, this is a compound proposition which is made up of two proposition first one is p that is it rains second one is q they cancel school now the converse of this compound preposition will be q implies p rather than p implies q so if we come if we form uh, the converse of this uh, statement it will be if they cancel school then it rains now next is a contrapositive that is negation of q implies negation of p for example if they do not cancel school then it does not rain now third one is inverse which is negation of p implies negation of q for example if it does not rain then they do not cancel school now conditional preposition and its converse or inverse are not logically equivalent what is logically equivalent when a uh, when we hold when a truth table hold uh, the same uh, set of values for same set of truth values then it is known as logically equivalent but we can see a conditional proposition and its contrapositive are logically equivalent as we can see from the truth table p implies q we have taken four set of values true 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 false false true and false false we have taken the negation of p then negation of u q we can see that the contrapositive negation of q implies negation of p holds the value true false true and true whereas for Uh, p implies q it also holds true false true true so we can see that that the contrapositive as well as the conditional preposition both holds the same uh, set of truth values for the same set of p and q truth value next is your biconditional preposition if p and q are preposition then the compound preposition p if and only if q is denoted by p the symbol of double side arrow and q is called by conditional preposition the by conditional preposition p if q can be stated as p is necessary and sufficient condition for true q or we can also say it as p if q for example he swims if and only if the water is warm so for that we need both the conditions to be true they are necessary as well as sufficient for q sale of house fall if if and only if interest rates are high so we can say that sale of house will uh, fall when when the interest rate will high so this this condition is necessary and sufficient now let us take a uh, look at the truth table by conditional uh, we have taken three columns for first one is your p and q that is your preposition p and q and third one is your by conditional p if q we can see that for the value uh, true and true p uh, by conditional q is also true but if, uh, for second we have taken p uh, value true and q value false then p if q is also false if p is false and q is true then p if q is also false if p is false q is false then p if q is also true so we can see from the truth table that p uh, if q is only true when both the proposition that is p and q is uh, both of them are either true or both of them are false 
if one of them is true and one of them is false then the condition then the compound preposition is also false now that's it thank you so much these are the references that have taken thank you